Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. Today we're going to look at EKG or ECG low voltages and what are the causes and how should we approach it. Again, my name is Pramil Charat, Program Director, Internal Medicine Residency, Transitional Residency. I'm also an assistant director, I mean, as a director of research and assistant professor of medicine, two large medical schools, and I teach medical students on and residents on a regular basis, okay? So when you look at the EKG voltage, well, how do you define low voltage, right? Any anytime when I look at an EKG, the first thing I always do is like look for far away and say, what is the voltage? It's defined as peak-to-peak -peak QRS amplitude of less than five millimeters in the limb leads or less than ten millimeters in the pericardial, I mean precordial lead. So remember, that is the definition for low voltage, right? Peak to peak QRS amplitude of less than five millimeter in the limb leads or less than 10 millimeters in the precordial lead. And the voltage is the height of the amplitude when you look at the EKG. The calibration signal is routinely printed on the beginning or the end of the tall lead EKG. You can usually see it on the left side. And if the QRS complex are too small or low voltage or too tall, tall voltage, the standardization can be doubled or half according to the flipping as such in the EKG machine. So main thing is just to make sure, look at the calibration on the left side and then compare it, okay? And how to measure, you can have these boxes, um, the small boxes are around like 0 0.5 so millivolt. And if you've got two boxes, that's like uh, one millivolt, that's equal to 10 mm. And then the normal standard, you have the calibration signal you can see on the right side and then you compare that. Um, and then a half standard is on the right side. What is electrical alterance? It's a B2B variation in the size of the QRS complex because of the electrical alterance, okay? Alternating voltage of the QRS complex can occur in the significant, there's like, and mainly if there's like a significant pericardial effusion, you have to worry about that. Allow the heart to swing in perpendicular fashion within the pericardial cavity. Because of that, you can have electrical alterance, right? The voltage kind of fluctuate. When the heart moves closer to the chest wall, the QRS complex becomes taller. When it's pushed further away, the QRS becomes smaller. So the alternating side of the QRS complex is best recorded where? Precordial electrode, especially like a V2, V2 to V5, because the leads are closest to the heart. Can also occur when like there's an, an SVT or there's severe myocardial ischemia, electrical alterance involved any way of EKG, including P wave, QRS complex, and T wave. Remember that, okay? So the mechanism, the damping effect, or like, you know, where is the mechanism of low voltage because the increased layers of fluid, there's an air, or is the fat between the electrodes and the impulses, that's what make it, you know, the low voltage. Loss of viable myocardium and diffuse infiltration of mixed demaris involvement of the heart, like amyloidosis, those kind of situations. Now, the causes, there's a great slide, look at it, fluid, there's pericardial effusion, pleural effusion. Fat, there's an obesity, there's conduction is affected, right? Air, there's emphysema or pneumothorax. Uh, and then, I mean, the main thing I want you to get out of this, like infiltrating connective tissue orders are very, you know, uh, I mean, is always cause like low voltage. Let's say like a, a mixed edema. Restricted cardiomyopathy due to amyloidosis, sarcoidosis, hemochromatosis. Sometimes, if I'm, you know, if there's a question to be asked, they can always have like an EKG with a low voltage, right? Constrictive pericarditis, scleroderma, severe hypothyroidism, okay? And then loss of viable myocardium, especially with a massive MI and an end-stage dilated cardiomyopathy, these are the causes. Now, when you look at the massive pulmonary, I mean, pericardial effusion, you can see like what is it, low voltage, you can see tachycardia, and mainly you can see the electrical alterance uh, also on this thing, right? Emphysema, there is again low voltage because of the air um, uh, with the electrodes, uh, the lot of air sitting between the electrode and the heart. Um, those are the other findings in there. Now, cardiac amyloidosis also can have low voltage, and we've got a picture right there. Um, these are the references. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.